Words appear. LG Challenge 2024. Challenge 3. March, Wiltshire. Words appear. Michael Barrett, Team Observer. Advisor, Leadership, Local Government Association. It's Challenge 3 and we're at Wiltshire Council in the South West. And the challenge here is all about the Household Support Fund and cost of living. So a really live and emotive subject. Words appear. Virginia Ponton, Team Observer. Advisor, Leadership, Local Government Association. And the council have just set their task to the contestants. So they'll spend the next day meeting expert officers and partners to start to work on their proposals and presentation. Namestrap appears. Will Alton, Corporate Support Manager, Executive Office, Wiltshire Council. It's a large rural authority with 18 different market towns. We've got a canal going across it and a large boater community. And smack bang in the middle with Salisbury Plain, we have a large military area with around 30,000 military people living here. So today we've set the challenge of looking at the household support fund and chiefly, what should we do as a local authority if the household support fund ceases? Namestrap appears. Councillor Richard Kluwer, leader of Wiltshire Council. And it's about how we meaningfully provide intervention in a way that is driven by data, is driven by interventions that will actually be preventative and not a sticking plaster. By no means a simple challenge. Namestrap appears. Helen, Team Dynamic, Head of ICT and Digital, North East Lincolnshire Council. The Household Support Fund is funding that's been given to councils by the government to support the community with a number of challenges that they have in terms of the cost of living. There's a focus on a number of factors including food poverty, white goods, energy, fuel poverty. Namestrap appears. Ramisa, Team Victorious Captain, Strategy Officer, London Borough of Barnet. So we've discovered that it's a much bigger issue. There's about £5.4 million coming into Wiltshire and about £2.2 million of that goes to free school meals. So we're trying to figure out how can we plug that gap once that funding ends. Namestrap appears. Hannah, Team Victorious. Policy and Projects Officer, Stroud District Council. We've had quite a lot of different kind of breakout sessions and then I've just been to another session with the Libraries Manager and that was more about the role that libraries play more widely in the community. Not only are they a warm space, and the library's manager described it as like a living room of the town. Namestrap appears. Marilise, Team Dynamic Captain, Economy and Place Marketing Manager, Basingstoke and Dean Borough Council. So far we've met some really interesting community organisations. In talking to them we just really feel the need. They talk about their clients and about people's specific cases and their genuine concern with this funding going. In terms of outputs today, we are trying to pull together a four-page cabinet report. Namestrap appears. Jack, Team Dynamic, Senior External Affairs Officer, Buckinghamshire Council. With our recommendations and then a presentation followed by a Q&A, they seem very keen on evidence-based working here in Wiltshire, so I think that's going to be really key. Namestrap appears. Martin, Team Victorious. Head of Development, Cheltenham Borough Council. I confess I do quite like looking at a graph, but there has been an awful lot of data and the challenge is trying to really distill that down and get to the points which are critical and can tell the story. We had a meeting with some of the officers at the council who are delivering the programme here. We discussed their rationale for how they want to target the funding, what they believe are the risks, the benefits and the impacts that they're having. We've had a very productive day of brainstorming and coming up with our skeleton plan. We're taking a quick little break and then we're off to have dinner with some the stakeholders and senior representatives from the council. It's about 10.30 p.m. at night. We've all gone to our rooms to get ready for bed. But about 30 minutes ago, we hit that sweet spot where all of a sudden, all of us were on the same page and we completely understood what we're going to propose. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. And this is a national issue that the contestants are dealing with on this challenge. There'll be different experiences from each council and cost of living is something that obviously resonates with everybody in their personal life too. So we're expecting the teams to bring lots of different fresh ideas and perspectives for Wiltshire Council. There's a mixed level of experience around the Household Support Fund across both teams and the captains seem to be leaning into that a little bit. It's really interesting to see how all the cohort are going to learn tons on this challenge and take that back to their council and their own roles. Namestrap appears. Shay Kwan, Team Victorious, 
Transformation and Change Manager, London Borough of Hounslow. At my council, I'm going to go away and I'm going to speak to the leadership team to understand what our plans are once HSF comes to an end. And I'm also going to share and showcase what I've pulled together with Team Victorious. Name strap appears. Kerry, Team Dynamic, Development Management Manager, Litchfield District Council. We spoke to some of the directors. One of the things we found about Wiltshire Council is that they are really good at quite a lot of things and quite a lot of our ideas. When we spoke to people, they'd already been done. So I think they are really ahead of the game. And unfortunately, that's meant that some of our plans have changed this morning. Name strap appears. Faith, Team Victorious, Strategy and Change Delivery Lead, London Borough of Islington. I'm finding this challenge really hard. I think it's such a big area. There's no easy solution to how do you replace £5 million of funding, and that means that there's no quick fix that we can suggest. So I found this really, really challenging, but probably a good test in working in an area I'm not that familiar with. Name strap appears. Adam, Team Dynamic, Project Officer, Wigan Council. Our initial idea was for the council to match spending on free school meals over the course of nine years, which senior officers thought was a little bit too ambitious. So we started off with three massive ideas and gradually they've been whittled down to just the one. So our solution is called the One Wheelchair Network, acronym is OWN, which will build on an existing smaller cost of living network but that will bring in the larger employers and private sector alongside health, charity and voluntary sector. We are prioritising food insecurity and housing instability. We will fund this through social value and strengthen procurement processes and we will manage this through our new strategic partnership board. Name strap appears. Councillor Ian Blair Pilling, Cabinet Member for Public Health, Communities, Leisure and Libraries, Wiltshire Council. We chose Team Dynamic. We felt that although they both produced very high quality solutions, it was Dynamic who had the greater part towards what we were looking for. And what ideas would we take forward? Well, Team Dynamic had a very good proposal around forming a one Wiltshire network involving pretty well all the agencies and commerce and all the communities that you could think of helped to raise resources and work towards solutions. We would want to draw on both teams' ideas. The whole exercise is of value not just to the contestants, but to Wiltshire Council and our staff. I really enjoyed myself on this challenge. I pride myself in the fact that we were all quite happy and chatty and got on really well with each other. There were no tensions. And I hope that that goes a long way in my journey as a leader. They were just all superstars on the team and just all worked together really well. Very collaborative, very supportive, and it was just a joy from the beginning to the end, even though we found the subject matter incredibly difficult. But it does feel amazing to be recognised for the effort we put in and for the ideas we came up with. Words appear. LG Challenge 2024. Follow the story. URL appears. Local.gov.uk forward slash LG Challenge. Local Government Association logo appears. URL appears www.local.gov.uk.